How's it going, everybody? This is Mike Rates. We're here at the Clam World Headquarters. Um, I run, as you know, I run the build line here at Clam. Uh, all of the houses that we do here that you see in stores for displays, stuff like that, it's actually built all on this table right here. A quick little tip that I'm going to show for you guys here is the runner kit and how to install it. Um, you know, we have a lot of different varieties out there, but you don't hear much about it and actually how to do it. So I'm actually just going to run through really quick here with you on how to install a runner kit. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get your two pieces. This one's actually for a Voyager um, and a Yukon. Um, you're going to get two of these pieces um, and you're going to fit it right onto your tub. Now, you're going to come with a section of bolts, washers, and nuts. That's going to come with your kit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line. Since these are not pre-drilled holes, I'm going to go through and I'm going to let you know exactly on the inches exactly what you need to do, how many bolts to take in that step. So when you go to do this yourself, it's done, ready to go, and you don't have to worry about doing the measuring. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the most crucial parts of this runner kit, and that's gonna be your ends. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna measure out three inches from the top here. So my first bolt, initial bolt, is gonna go right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do myself is I'm gonna take a permanent marker, and I'm gonna mark it. So I know that's my first spot for my hole, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this measuring tape and I'm gonna measure down three inches. So there I found three inches. I'm gonna take this permanent marker again really quick. I'm just gonna make a little check mark. Now I know, okay? And then I'm gonna measure another three inches, okay? So now I've got three bolts that are three inches spaced apart from each other. That's perfect for running around the ribs of these tubs. It's gonna be a great thing. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna run down the rest of the line. Now instead of doing three inches, I'm gonna run five inches on the next one. Okay, and the reason I run the five inches on the next one is because I do not wanna spread them so far apart on the crease of where it's going. I still wanna keep it nice and tight because I want that runner to run perfectly along the tub. Okay, so after that, now once I get done with that five inches, now I'm gonna continue to measure out 10 inches going across. And now to mind you, this is gonna be five bolts going down the line of this runner to measure out those 10 inches until you get to the other end. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna measure 10 inches. I'm gonna bring it down here, measure another 10, measure another 10, and then I'm gonna measure another 10, and so on and so forth. So when I get down to the end of this line here, I'm gonna be ready to go. So I'll do one more here real quick, okay? So now we've got it run across. So now I'm gonna go right back to five inches again and do that mark, okay? And now we're gonna start the three. So three inches, three inches, and then three inches. So now I have everything marked out in exactly how I wanna do it. The next step you're gonna to wanna to take with this is now drilling, okay? I don't know exactly what size this bit is, um, but what I like to do with these is I do not want to make the hole the same size as the actual bolt itself. So this bit is actually just a hair smaller and the way you can do that is to line it up with each other and know. So I'm lining it up and I know that this bolt is a little bit bigger than this actual bit and that's what I want because it's going to be able to dig in there and hold well. So what I'm simply going to do after this is I'm going to start right here. I'm going to find the center of this line, okay, right in the center of the runner and I'm just going to drill a hole. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna proceed to follow my little check marks I've made the entire way down, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing all the way down the, the runner. So I'll do this real quick here. This shouldn't take long. And all right, now we've got all the holes drilled. As you can kind of see there, I've got everything drilled and how it needs to be. So now from that point on, we're gonna move over to the tub. And what I'll do here is I'll move everything out of the way and I'll slide this tub down. Okay, so now while we're gonna start off, the first thing I do is I start right from the end, okay? And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this runner and I'm gonna run it straight up and down because I want it to touch the bottom of this tub. Okay, that's gonna give me an accurate idea of exactly where I'm sitting, okay? So if you also notice on our tubs, we've got like a little center groove. You want to be able to put that bolt right into the middle of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in between. I'm going to kind of eye it up and I'm going to look, I'm going to find that center. Okay. Then I'm going to take my drill bit, 
go through there and just lightly go in. Okay, so now that I've drilled my first initial hole, I can now take my bolts out and I can start that process. I'm not gonna go through and put every single bolt inside. I just wanna give you a quick idea of how to do it. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bolt and I'm gonna actually grab a different bit. This is actually a number two Phillips. Um, that's what we use with our runners. It works out well. Um, you can just put it in any tile drill that you have. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is an impact. It's nice and quick. Um, so now from this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just attach this onto here. So that's gonna sit in place for a moment. I'm gonna take this piece. And I'm gonna find that center again, like I was saying. Whoop. We'll grab another one here. So I'm gonna find that center. Get all the fuzz out. Okay, I'm gonna kinda get it started there. It's just started a little bit. So now what I'm gonna proceed to do is I like to put it all the way in there so then I can find that hole. Okay. Okay, so now if you notice there, you heard a little click at the end. That's the reason why I use that smaller drill bit because now with putting that screw in, it's now locked in there. So now what I can do from that point on, what I would do is I would push bend this down. Okay, and these are very flexible so you don't need to heat them up or anything like that. So I would push that thing down. I would find my center again and then I would just proceed to take this drill bit and drill my holes. So we'll do a couple here and we'll flip the tub over. Okay, so I've got three done. We'll do this one too. Okay, so we've got all those done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, we'll uh, put one more bit in, or one more piece. Okay, so that's in. Now we're gonna flip it over. Okay, so as you can notice here, I've got two bolts in already, okay? So now I'm ready to go. I've got everything drilled out. Um, it's all ready to go. You know, the bolts are run all the way down the line. I'm gonna talk to you right now about one of the most crucial things to this runner kit, and that's applying grease. These are stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts. When you use that lubricant, it's gonna allow the bolts to get down there, get on tight, and not weld themselves together. Um, this is just a way that we use the stainless steel bolts so they don't rust out in the winter when they're running through the water, the snow, all that stuff. So you can take any type of your, any type of typical grease. Okay, and what I actually do is I find a little bottle cap and I just dump a bunch in there and then what I'll do is I'll just give it a little dab. You don't need much at all. Okay, so I'm going to put that just on the end of there. That's going to lubricate it enough so when I do put the bolts on, they aren't going to seize themselves together. Okay, so then from that point on, I'm just gonna take a washer, I'm gonna slide that over the top. I'm gonna put the bolts on there. Or the nut, I should say. And we'll do the same here. Okay, so I got both on there. Now I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch socket to finish the job off. And then simply put, what we're doing is, we're just hitting it, tightening it down. So. Sometimes they will stick and you'll be able to tighten them down. If not, just take your regular screwdriver, put it into the end, and that's that. Follow that all the way down the line and uh, you'll be good to go on your new runner kit. Clam Outdoors, pursue the ice.